Oh, hello, my name is Gregor Mendel. I am a monk from Austria and I like to study peas. Some people call me the father of genetics. Okay, so it's actually me, guys. Sorry, didn't mean to uh, fake you out there. Um, but today we're going to actually talk about our introduction to heredity and genetics. Woo! All right, first we have to start with a little bit of review. We're going to start by looking at a karyotype. Now, remember, a karyotype is just an image of all the chromosomes in the nucleus of an organism's any one cell. So, in humans, we have 46 total chromosomes, or 23 pairs. Okay, remember this? The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are called autosomes. The two that are left are called sex chromosomes. So if you're a boy, these are the X and the Y, or if you're a girl, these are the XX. So how do we get a karyotype of a baby that's not born yet? Well, we use something called amniocentesis. Amniocentesis. Now, amniocentesis, or an amniotic fluid test, is a medical procedure used in prenatal diagnosis of genetic disorders and fetal abnormalities. So what happens is a small amount of amniotic fluid, which is here, which is going to contain fetal tissues, is going to be extracted from the amniotic sac. Once we take it out, the fetal DNA can be examined for genetic abnormalities using our karyotype. So what we're looking at here is a normal karyotype. Now remember, karyotype is going to be our test to identify and evaluate the size, shape, and number of chromosomes in a sample body of cells. So what we're looking at here are the different chromosomes. So some of the problems we can see with a karyotype are duplications of chromosomes, deletions of chromosomes, or translocations of chromosomes. Now here's a problem we can see offhand. This is a karyotype of someone who has Down syndrome, or trisomy 21, because you can see there are three copies of the 21st chromosome, and that's going to be a problem. So as you're discovering in your genetic disorders project, positions of chromosome pieces can cause problems with a person's growth, development, and body functions if they're not correct. Back to me again, the father of genetics. So I deduced that genes come in pairs, one, two, and are inherited as distinct units, one from each parent. So I track the segregation of parental genes and their parents in the offspring, offspring as dominant or recessive traits. So I recognized also the mathematical problems and patterns of inheritance from one generation to the next. I had some laws of heredity, which we are going to state right now. State law number one it is the law of segregation. Each inherited trait is defined by a gene pair. Law number two, the law of independent assortment. Genes for different traits are sorted separately from one another. Law number three, the law of dominance. An organism with alternate forms of a gene will express the form that is dominant. So if you have AA, big A, little a, it will express the big A. So, Mendel did a lot of great work. His experiments took about eight years, and he published his work in 1865. Unfortunately, wasn't really recognized or thought as really important in his time, and when he died, the other monks hid some of his journals. Um, but he did do work with over 10,000 different pea plants, taking meticulous results, uh, recording all his data, which you guys should have done for your science experiments, right? Right? Okay. So, anyway, we're almost done. Go. I've got a little bit of vocab to go over with you guys, so stay tuned. Come on, it's going to be fast. Here we go. Gene, pieces of DNA that determine traits. Allele, different forms of a gene. We have two alleles for each gene. Recessive alleles can be masked by dominant one. Dominant can mask a recessive allele. Genotype, the actual allele combination, the actual letter. Phenotype, the actual physical trait, the, what your color your eyes are, the shape of your hair, the height, the big of your nose, the curl of your tongue. Phenotype, homozygous, two of the same allele. Heterozygous, two different alleles. And that's it. So, uh, you can finish this video, make sure you've got the notes filled out, and go on to the next one. See you later.